Hi, Kelly Clement here from Metastock. In this video, I'm very excited to introduce you to Metastock 19. But very specifically in this video, we are going to be talking about one of the new key features inside of Metastock 19 called layouts. Now layouts have existed in Metastock previously, but we've actually developed new and better workflows to make them even better for you. So you can see here kind of an overview of all the different high level features that are inside Metastock 19. But as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about this new and improved layout workflows. Now, first of all, let's talk about what a layout is. A layout is simply a group of charts. It could be a single chart, a group of charts, multiple time frame charts, or multiple layout view charts. Whatever you can imagine a group of charts to be is what a layout is. So I'm going to show you some examples in this video. But first of all, let's talk about some of these new workflows and how they work and what they do. So layouts can function as independent windows, first of all. So each window is going to kind of live on its own. So you can have multiple layouts on different chart, uh, different screens if you want to. You can also have them on the same screen to just tab between different groups of charts. Uh, you've got improved multi-monitor support, a much simpler process for saving and creating those layouts. Multi-chart views, multi-time frame views, as we discussed, easy navigation of the main window and layout windows, and quick selection for moving between them. So let's go ahead and show you how to create a layout, kind of how it can help you in your everyday world and uh, help you in uh, navigating Metastock. So let's go over to Metastock. Now, this is my main window, uh, as we call it now, where I could open up a, a couple of charts. We'll just open up uh, some automotive stocks here. Now this is not my layout per se. This is a, just a group of charts that I have open. Now let's say that I do want something that's maybe like a market overview that I want to be able to quickly reference what's going on in the market. So what I can do up here is I can just click on this plus sign and it will create a new layout for me. Now this new layout is a new existing window. You can see it's kind of a new version of Metastock, an instance of Metastock in fact that's running. So I can just go ahead and come in here and say, well, I want the de the sector indices and we'll just open a few of those. And you can see they all open up here. Now, what I've got set up here is I've got the three different charts. I'm just going to click simply click on the column button here so I can see them all side by side. So I've got them all set up. I could also do the new tab view and do some of that. So refer to some of the other videos for tab view but I'm going to show you now how to save this so I can quickly reference it. So if I go File and I go Save As, and then I'm just going to give this a name. I'm going to call it Sector ETFs. Okay, then I just click Save. You can see this is set to Layout. And now the Sector ETF layout is saved, so I can quickly reference it at any time. Now, how would I do that? So if I just close this, I can come up here to my dropdown, and I can go to Sector ETF, click on it, and it'll just pop up just as, I, just as I had it set up when I saved it. So that's all saved for me. Now, if I click the down arrow here, I can switch between any open windows that I had. So I can just say, oh, I wanna to go to main, I wanna to go to Sector ETF. I could also just click Control Tab, or excuse me, Alt Tab, and then I could just go between my open windows as well. So that's just alt tab. I can also come down to my taskbar and I can just hover down here and it will show me the different windows that I have open and I can just switch between them. So it makes it really easy to move between windows and kind of bounce around. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and create a new layout again. So I'm going to click my plus button here again and I'm going to save another instance for you. So if I go uh, to the Power Console. Let's just say I open up uh, the DAO here. We'll do the, the DAO uh, ETF again. And I'm going to go to Window, New Window, and I'm going to duplicate this window a few times. So you can see I've had the same chart open three times. So if I right click on this and then I do a new horizontal tab group, so we're doing tabs this time, and then this time I want this chart to be right here. So I'll just drag and drop that. So you see I've got three charts here. So now I could say I want this one to be five minute. I'm using Metastock RT, so I have uh, intraday data here. Uh, so I have a five, a 30, and a daily. So this is my time frame view. 
So I can just save this again. I'll just save this one as my DAO 3 time frame. Okay, so you can see that's saved. And then I can switch again between all three ones that I have open. Now the unique thing here is if I want this multiple time frame view to be accessible to me at a later date to other symbols, I can save this as a layout template. So I can go File, Save As, and then I can change this to, excuse me, I click Save As Image. We don't wanna do that. We go File, Save As, and then we change this to a layout template. And I'll call it my DAO 3 time frame template. And then that saved now as a template so I could apply it to any other chart and it would just bring it up in those three different time frames. So that's just a few quick examples of some of the things that you can do with layout. Now we're gonna have some instructional videos showing you how to do all these different things, but I wanted to give you a quick introduction inside of Metastock 19 of some of these new features and the different ways that they work. So if you have more questions, you wanna learn more about Metastock 19, we'll have lots of great videos up on the website, but you can also just give us a, contact us here at 800-882-3040, 801-506-090. Give us a chat at metastock.com slash sales chat, metastock.com or email us at sales.metastock.com. Anyway, Thank you for coming today, watching this brief video about layouts, how they work inside Metastock 19. Um, if you have questions, like I said, contact us. Otherwise, I wish you successful trading and thanks for stopping by.